So there's somebody who's out there that are, they're currently struggling with their own business. They're wondering how they can make a breakthrough and they have no idea what NLP is. How do you help? If somebody's struggling in their business, this is one of the reasons why I created the, the, the 6M growth model, because one of those core pillars in that model is mindset. Because you can have, you know, the best marketing in the world, you can have the best you know, sales team in the world. But if it's your business and you have a limiting belief that you can't be successful or that your team are underperforming or anything else that you're convincing yourself of, then you can you, you can bring in the best sales and marketing people in the world. But it's all down to your beliefs about what you can or you, and you can't do and about what your team can do. So that's typically where I would start is actually speaking with the person and find out what's going on in, in when I say their life, both their personal life and their business life, because the two are inextricably linked. And it, it's understanding. And I often detect this through people's um, their language. You know, people say, oh, I could never do what you've done. Um, oh, I can't work in. I, I don't understand computers. That's all. A lim that is all limiting beliefs, you know. And one of the biggest limiting beliefs I had is that I didn't have a degree. Um, in November, I'll be in Westminster to graduate at the age of 66 with a degree in marketing. So anything's possible. And that's the other thing that right I find book. fascinating is you have such a unique skill set. I was going to say broad. It's not broad. It's that it, they're all very niche skill sets, but you've brought three skill sets together that is very unique in one person. So in many businesses, if they work with a coach, they have a coach. Yeah. If they work yeah. with a, a, a chief marketing officer, a fractional market officer, they have a marketing officer. Yeah. If they have a sales team that's generally outsourced or they have somebody who they've trained to be good at it, and you're kind of combining all three, what yeah. what sort of results do your clients kind of come out with once they've worked with you? I mean, I, I know it's an ongoing process constantly, but like what, yeah. what does that look like? Some of the people I've worked with, um, in fact, the very first client I ever worked with, um, she was an image, she was a part time actress and an image consultant, you know, so did all the color matching and that. Um, and she hired me as her coach. And uh, we did about six sessions. And after the first, I think it's the first, so there were weekly sessions. After the second session, no, sorry, it was after the first month, her sales had rocketed from a thousand pounds a month to three thousand pounds a month and we hadn't even talked about marketing and sales we'd not even touched that area because it was all about how her beliefs had shifted another client of mine um he grew his business to 25 million a year 25 million revenue a year and he's also a very successful podcast host so the, the results come in many different because because we're looking at different areas of their life and business the results come in, in from different areas. And I've worked with a lot of people who have, um, you know, one guy I worked with, he, he was a, he was actually an employee of a company, he wasn't even a business owner. Um, I, with the work I did with him over six weeks, he gained a new promotion and a 25% pay increase. 